Hello and welcome to Unionville High School's Grade 8 Information Presentation. My name is Rita Riello and I am the Subject Head of Guidance and Career Education at UHS. This presentation will include general information about our school, the Grade 9 experience, student supports, graduation and course types, elective courses offered at UHS, our school programs, specific department information, student life including student council, clubs and sports, the registration process, contact information, and FAQs. This presentation and a translated Chinese version will be available for viewing on our website. Unionville High School's administration team includes our principal, Sulin Chong, and our two vice principals, Andrew Gazzaneo and Patrick Balmonte. Unionville High School is a semester school where students will study four courses each semester, each class 75 minutes in length. At this time, I'd like to welcome Ms. Chong, who will share a few words with you, followed with the land acknowledgement. I'm delighted to welcome you to our information video for prospective new students. Unionville High School is a dynamic, creative, and supportive environment where each student has the opportunity to achieve their very best. As you watch this video and begin learning about Unionville High School, our classes, our specialized programs, our sports teams, and our extracurricular activities, I hope you'll be as excited as I am. I look forward to meeting you all in September. Enjoy the Grade 8 information video. Hello! Before I begin the land acknowledgement, I'd like to thank my friend and peer, Principal Yvonne Chan, for giving me the permission to share the reflections that you're about to hear. Since we're in November, I'd like to start by reflecting on Indigenous contributions in a number of wars. They were part of every 20th century conflict Canada was involved in and served in the Canadian military at a higher per capita rate than any other group. I wish to highlight a couple of examples. Thomas Prince, a member of the Broken Head Ojibwa Nation in Manitoba enlisted in 1940 and eventually was assigned to the Canadian American First Special Service Force, known as the Devil's Brigade. He became a legendary sniper, was awarded multiple medals, and also served in the Korean War. Indigenous soldiers also served as scouts during the Second World War. They took on a role known as code talkers. Charles Checker Tompkins translated sensitive radio messages into Cree so they could not be understood if they were intercepted by the enemy. Another Cree speaking code talker would then translate the received messages. When these soldiers returned to Canada after the war, their bravery didn't count for much. In fact, First Nations veterans didn't receive the same compensations as their white counterparts. Veterans were allowed to borrow money from the government to purchase lands for farming, but it was almost impossible for any First Nations veterans to qualify. Around 80,000 acres of reserve land that was good for farming was taken away from reserves and given to white settler veterans. They were also unable to get a loan grant combination that helped veterans set up careers and businesses. The decorated sniper mentioned earlier, Thomas Prince, ended up living in shelters and on the streets in Winnipeg until his death in 1977. Today, these brave soldiers, the fallen and the veterans are still with us and are honored on November 8th. This day marks the Indigenous Veterans Day. I wanted to highlight this because it is a part of Canada's history. And as I read the land acknowledgement, 
I invite you all to reflect on your own intentions and how you could be a co-conspirator. We affirm that we're all treaty people and acknowledge that the York Region District School Board is located on the land of two treaties. These treaties have been signed with the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation and the First Nations of the Williams Treaties, who are the Mississaugas of Alderville, Curve Lake, Hiawatha, Scugog Island, and the Chippewas of Beausoleil, Rama, and Georgina Island, who is our closest neighbor and partner in education. To honor this agreement, we will take up our responsibility to be respectful of their traditions, knowledge, and inherent rights as sovereign nations. We will respect their relationship with these lands and recognize that our connection to this land is through the continued relationship with these First Nations. And we acknowledge our shared responsibility to respect and care for the land and waters for future generations. Thank you, Ms. Chong. Now a few words about transitions from one of our committee members, Ms. Jennifer Minos. Hello, my name is Jennifer Minos and I am one of the many teachers on UHS's Transitions Committee. This committee is responsible for supporting grade eight and grade nine students by collaborating with elementary and secondary colleagues to organize events for students to ensure a smooth transition to high school. Unionville has a variety of transition activities that will support your grade nine student. In preparation for high school, we will visit feeder schools to provide information about course selection and programs. There will also be an opportunity for our future grade nines to visit our school during Take Our Grade Eights to High School Day. In addition, the first day of school is only for grade nines. A variety of activities and events take place so that students can become familiar with the building and their teachers and classmates. Unionville also plans a grade nine camp day and other related orientation activities to allow students to get to know each other as well as staff. Teams and club fairs, as well as extracurricular opportunities are available and allow students to find activities they are interested in. Students will have opportunities to learn how to join and become involved. We are committed to the success of all of our students. In order to do this, we rely on a team comprised of many individuals which include our administration, teachers, guidance team, student success team, ELL and literacy teachers, cooperative education, personalized education, and special education departments. Working together, we provide relevant and experiential learning opportunities, building on students' interests and strengths. Thank you, Ms. Minos. It is important that students and families be aware of graduation requirements and the course types that are available. Let's take a few moments now to learn more about these. There's a lot of information that will be helpful to you as you start to plan your secondary school years. To get you started, we are going to provide a brief overview and then let you know where you can go for more details and specific information. First, let's review the requirements for getting your Ontario Secondary School Diploma, the OSSD. To get your OSSD, you need 18 compulsory credits. These are categories of credits that are mandatory. 12 optional credits, often called electives, successful completion of the Ontario literacy requirement, and 40 hours of community involvement. Here is a breakdown of the compulsory credits. We will show you where to get more information about the compulsory and optional credits on the board website a little later. The Grade 10 Literacy Test takes place in the spring of your Grade 10 year. 
It is a test based on language and communications, reading and writing, for curriculum up to and including grade 9. Community involvement is a great way to explore career interests while promoting community values. You need 40 hours and you can start working on these hours in the summer after your grade 8 year. You can finish any time during your secondary school years. Making decisions about which courses are best suited for you can be tough, but fortunately there are lots of people who can help you. Talk to your family, grade 8 teacher, special education resource teacher, secondary school guidance counselor, or other school staff. In grades 9 and 10, secondary school courses are organized into these four types. Depending on the course, you may have choice in course type. Choosing a course type isn't based on your grade 8 academic achievement. Your choice should be based on your learning style and interests. It's important to know that you don't need to choose all the same types of courses. It's also important to remember that the decisions you make now in grade 8 are not final. There is flexibility in changing your course types in grades 9 and 10. There is lots of information available on the YRDSB website that you might find helpful when planning for secondary school. Here you can explore your options, including other ways to earn credits, information about secondary school programs, and prerequisites for post-secondary. Details about the graduation requirements we reviewed earlier, including compulsory and optional courses, can be found here as well as how to plan and choose your courses. As well as the board website, all secondary schools have a website with information specific to that school. You may want to check those out as well. We look forward to welcoming you to our secondary schools in September. Univille offers a variety of elective courses in grade 9. The grade 9 student will select two elective courses. If a student is taking an ESL class, one of those elective spots will be used for the additional ESL English class. Students in the Arts Univille program will be selecting their AU-specific courses as their electives. Here's an example of a grade 9 student timetable. As you can see, there are a variety of course types which include open, academic, and applied courses. For students interested in taking music, this course is offered during the lunch hour, where students will spend half of their lunch period studying their music class. This course is counted as a ninth credit. UHS is a one-to-one -one school, meaning that each student will have access to their own technology. For students who do not have their own technology, they will be provided with a Chromebook to support their learning. Being one-on-one -on -one means that students will have consistent, ready-to-access computing devices at school and at home, and teachers can take full advantage of the new learning technologies and online education resources when they are equipped with their own device. This will also help promote technological literacy and computing skills and produce students who are technologically skilled and literate. We will provide an opportunity for students who require a Chromebook to request one at the end of August. Unionville has a variety of school programs to offer. In grades 11 and 12, students have the option to participate in the Specialist High Skills Major program. This program allows students to focus on contextualize their learning in a particular economic sector. Unionville offers three sectors, arts and culture, business, and health and wellness. In addition, Univille offers dual credit program for eligible students in grade 11 and 12. The focus of this program is to engage students through exposure to college courses and culture while supporting their successful transition to post-secondary education. Dual credit counts towards both a student's high school diploma and their post-secondary diploma degree or apprenticeship certification. Videos and additional information are available here on the slide deck and can also be found on the YRDSB site. Univille is also proud to offer the Arts Univille program, which includes dance, drama, music, and visual arts, as well as the STEM program. 
please take some time to view the video attached, which demonstrates how the arts and STEM work together and how students can participate in both programs. At this time, we'd like you to enjoy this video showcasing our Arts Unionville program. I know I have what it takes. This passion that lives within. Dedication. Persistence. Undeterred. Gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping. Guidance. I will focus. I will chase my dream. Through darkness and in light. Until at last, I've achieved it. mastery of my passion. And now a few words from our subject head of music, Mr. Jeff Brigglesworth. Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Rigglesworth. I'm the head of the music department and one of many arts teachers here at Unionville High School. The video you just saw gives you a little bit of a peek into the arts at Unionville. We enjoy a tradition of excellence in arts education that has thrived since the school opened in 1985. UHS was designed and built as an art school, so our facilities, as you can see, are second to none and the arts continue to play an important role in the school's day-to-day -day life. Each year, we invite keen, curious, artistic, and creative students to audition for the Arts Unionville program specializing in dance, drama, visual arts, and music. Musical disciplines include winds and percussion or band instruments, strings, voice, and piano specialties. If you are interested in more information, please consider joining our Arts Unionville information session tomorrow evening. You can easily register for this virtual presentation by completing the link on our school website. If you cannot make it to tomorrow's presentation, that's okay. The videos will also be available on the school website shortly after. One important thing to remember, however, is that you do not have to be in the Arts Unival program to experience and participate in the arts at UHS. We also have an extensive core arts program that is open to all of our students, including dance classes in dance, drama, visual arts, and music as well. These core arts classes use the same great facilities and are taught by our Arts Unival arts specialists as well. And remember, it is possible to, to participate in the arts and STEM and athletics and in a long list of extracurricular opportunities as well. I'm not only a teacher here, but I'm also a graduate and my two kids attended UHS too. Through my unique perspective as a student, a parent and a teacher in the arts here at UHS, I can tell you that this is a fantastic place to be. You simply will not find a more creative, academic and most importantly, a more welcome and inclusive place to learn. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your presentation. Hi everyone. My name the STEM program is in its fourth year at Unionville High School. STEM has become a topic of discussion for many. Part of Unionville's reason for offering STEM comes from the idea with the paradigm shift, Industry 4.0, or the fourth industrial revolution, professions are changing and the demand for skilled workers in technology and computers has become more demanding. 
There are many benefits to participating in the STEM program, which include an enriched learning experience in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It provides a clear and focused STEM pathway, and it recognizes students that are already pursuing a STEM pathway. Students who successfully complete the program receive a STEM certificate at graduation. UHS has partnered with many organizations to support this program. The program requirements for STEM include courses that a student will still need to take in order to graduate. However, it also includes extended learning opportunities, such as collaborative projects, training and meetings, and an independent learning or leadership activity. UHS offers a wide range of courses that support the STEM program and that will meet the interests of all students participating in this program. In addition, we offer many clubs and activities that support the STEM program and mentoring from teachers to help students successfully complete this program. The STEM program is only open to students in the Unionville High School catchment. Grade 8 students interested in learning more about the STEM program are encouraged to visit our website in early December. Unionville offers many courses and course types for students to select. We encourage you to view each department slide to learn more about the courses that they offer and the skills that they will learn with each. Unionville has a variety of activities that students can participate in. Here to tell us more about these opportunities is Daya and Stephen. Hi, my name is Dia and I'm a member of the Unionville Student Activity Council. I'm also chair of the events committee this year. Here at UHS, we understand that academics are a huge part of high school. However, extracurricular activities really enhance the high school experience. The Unionville Student Activity Council, also known as USAC, is comprised of numerous students from various grades who take an active role of leadership within our school community and represent our student body. Grade nines will have the opportunity to run and represent their grade every year. There are seven positions available for grade nine students. Applications will become available in September and elections will be held at the end of the month. USAC's main goal is to create an inclusive and welcoming environment for all students who feel like they matter and belong here at UHS. Hi, my name is Hi, my name is Steven. I am the chair for Club Community this year. At Unionville High School, we encourage grade nines to participate and get involved in our wide variety of clubs. We also encourage grade nines to create and lead their own clubs. We have over 25 clubs at Unionville High School and their topics range from art to STEM to more specialized topics such as architecture and the film. Here we have clubs for readers, writers and debaters and we also have this new commerce club for international students. At Unival High School we really do have something to make everyone feel welcome. Hi. In addition to the great opportunities offered with USAC and clubs, UHS has a wide variety of sports teams that will meet the interests of all students. Families interested in registering at Unionville High School are asked to review the slides here or on our website. The registration process will differ depending on which school your grade nine student is coming from. For students whose elementary school is Buttonville, Coldale, Parkview, or William Bursey, your respective school will guide you through the registration process and course selection process in January. Important dates to note are February 16, 2022, when course selection is open in my Pathway Planner. The deadline for course selections to be completed in my Pathway Planner 
is February 25th. If your student is currently enrolled in a Wire DSB elementary school and you do not live within our secondary school boundary, you may apply to the school as a transfer student. Your student is to follow the same registration process as instructed by your current Wire DSB elementary school. We ask that you advise your grade 8 teacher in the main office that you would like your student to attend Unionville High School and request a transfer form. In early February, you will receive confirmation of acceptance to Unionville High School. At that time, your child will be able to choose their courses for UHS in my Pathway Planner. Please note that transfers will not be granted for our STEM program. If your student is currently enrolled in a Catholic or private school and you live within our Unionville High School boundary, you can pick up a registration form from our office or visit our website for the online version. If your student is currently enrolled in a Catholic or private school and you do not live within the Unionville High School boundary, you'll be required to contact your Wire DSB homeschool and request a transfer form in addition to completing the registration form. Families will be contacted in February by UHS to schedule an appointment. Stay connected with us. We encourage you to visit our website and follow us on Twitter. A lot of information was shared in this presentation and you may have questions. Please view slides 55, 56, and 57 for our frequently asked questions. If you have additional questions, please click on the link in slide 58 and we will post the answers to our website. On behalf of the administration and staff at Unionville High School, I would like to thank you for viewing our presentation and we look forward to seeing your grade nine student in September.